What's going on, everyone? It's your boy Top Cat the Gamer. We are back with some more Legend of Nayuta Boundless Trails. All right, so in the last video, we met, uh, I think her name was Ioli? Ioli? Noe? It's one of them. Yeah. <laughs> I can't fucking remember. Uh, but yeah, we're about to get ready to go over here and see uh, what little portal she went through over here. Um, hope you guys are doing well. If you're new to the channel, tap that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and let's get it going. We can't go buy anything, so it just it just lets us come right over here. How is it? Does it look like it'll move? Yeah, the gear parts are working. I don't know how it operates, but there's some kind of force at work. I didn't even realize the damn gear was going in the thing. So it just starts up a gear. Are you ready, Nayuta? Once you go in, there's no guarantee you'll come back. You might want to go see Eartha and, Ly and Lyra one last time. I know, but we really have to hurry. If we can't come back, we'll deal with it and find another way. <laughs> like, listen to that. It's, it's such a good... We'll just leave it up to chance. We may never see our loved ones ever again. But, you know, it's like, we got to go in here. Come on, man. <laughs> as long as we're together, I know we can figure it out. You make me sound so dependable. Let's get on with it then. Yeah, that's a, it's just a little... A little ridiculous that's where the writing needs to come in like yeah you're right i better go see my sister or hell ask one of them to come along or i don't know something we'll jump on three sure i'm ready anytime okay then one two three i thought he's gonna let his ass jump in at first and be like well see if he comes back It's so bright, but my eyes are gradually adjusting. Uh, what is this place? This is interesting. The Garden of Stars. Amazing. I can't believe such a beautiful place exists in this world. Enough to leave you speechless, that's for sure. Though, I don't know if this is even this world anymore. Don't jinx it. Anyway, we need to look for Naoi. Na that's what it is, Naoi. I was like, Aoi? What the hell? Or Noe? Maybe it's, it may be Noe. What? What happened? Signal, look at that. What the? Ah, it's the tower from the picture. That's a little garden and everything before it. Don't tell me that's... It has to be. Yeah. It's the tower we saw in the star fragment. Wait, then is this place, no, this world, lost heaven? It, it really, really exists. And he sniffles, okay, good for you. I can't believe you found the place your parents were looking for so quickly. I guess it's a bit of an emotional moment, huh? Sorry, I know this isn't really the time for this. All right, let's check this place out. We gotta find uh, Noe, that Noe girl, and ask for her help. I was saying Naoi, but I think it is, I think it's Noe. Agreed, let's split up. God, I fucking butcher these names on here, man. I don't know why it's like that. This really is a beautiful place. What's wrong, Signa? It's nothing. There's a lot we don't know yet, so let's take a look around. I'm going to speed it up a little bit here. 
Just so we can cover every little angle quickly. Whee! Okay, nothing really around here. They seem to be some kind of ruins. I wonder what they really are. Clearly we need to go up here. Wow, it's so tall. I can't even see the top. What could this building be for? I really did arrive at Lost Heaven. It happened so suddenly, I can't even wrap my head around it. I have to do as much research as I can while I'm here. I'll definitely solve the mysteries of star fragments and, in, and the end of the world. Wait, no, that's not it. For now... I just have to find that girl, Noe. <laughs> okay. Hey, Nayuda. Did you find that fairy? Okay, clearly he saw something that freaked him out. What now? Did you find something else? Is that? Hey. This world has an end. That is what we've been taught for as long as, I, as anyone can remember. Even the infinite sea has a clear end beyond which no one can go. But I have arrived at, in the lost paradise, lost heaven. And? Ah, there she is. So this is uh, Kreia. Um the girl uh, well the person i was talking about in the last video so i really i do believe this I, a lot of people have kind of catching on to it if you pay attention to this girl and look at her face her eyes when she finally opens them her hair she looks like a younger version of the grandmaster from the entire trail series now reverie gave you a good look at the Grandmaster for the, like, I think it's like the uh, part four, uh, Trails of Coast Hill 4 and Reverie, he gave you like the best look at her face and everything. If you look at this girl, it looks, she looks almost identical to the Grandmaster for Ouroboros in the um, Trail series. Almost identical. They they claim it's not her. Like I think uh somebody asked Kondo, uh the president of the company, I think they asked him and he was like that it's not her or whatever like that. But it's like it, it's just you you gotta call bullshit on it. Like she looks exactly like her. Like a grown up version of her, I guess I'll say. But I don't know what this girl's uh necessarily her gifts powers whatever like that is i know that she's like a part of this uh race and everything they, um that's why i'm playing this game so i can dive more into that but i firmly believe this is the grandmaster of Ouroboros, and i don't know how it gets to that point or whatever like that but that's just my belief i'm gonna roll with that until they prove otherwise but uh yeah this is kreha i think it's kreha rim Ram something. I, it's 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 a weird name, but uh, I'm sorry. I ain't mean to ramble. Let's get on with it. Who is this? A girl? It was in this beautiful world that we met her. Thus began our long summer break. I could hear the gears of fate beginning to turn. All right. Straight into the opening. Damn, look at her hair. Yeah, that's that's another thing. She has super long ass hair, just like this girl too. This is like, I, I, Falcom.
as with every opening super uplifting ass song <laughs> yeah, it seems like some frame drops right there that's weird yeah it's definitely some frame drops happening sorry about that if y'all see it on y'all end And that's how little uh, Noe actually is. Her size is a little weird in game because the characters are made small. So it makes it look like she's almost like a just a little girl, but she's actually really a little small fairy. Is she flying? All right. All right, end of the prologue, gate to the other world. All right, we're going to just move straight on. Save here and move forward. Usually I end after that, but this video will be way too short. Who is this girl? And why is she here? <laughs> it just says breathing. Okay. <laughs> hey, I've heard that uh, sound before. That's the sound that plays um, on Cold Steel when whenever Reen has um, his ogre power awakens. I remember that sound. She doesn't seem to be dead, but... Or is that his her heartbeat he's hearing? What a mysterious girl. She has such beautiful hair and skin. I've never seen a girl like this. I I know you. It what the hell? Eight toss the hell? Is what is this? My chest is hurting. Hey Nayuda, are you listening to me? Signa, what? What do you mean what? You're totally spacing out. I was asking who in the world you think this girl is. Oh, right. Really though, who is she? <laughs> I get what's going on. Who's there? Stay away from Lady Clea. <laughs> Lady Clea. All right. Wait, what? It's you guys? <laughs> Good grief. We finally found you. The little gears on her hair is pretty dope. <laughs> Why are you here? No human should come to this place. We're not allowed to? I mean, were we not allowed to? We just followed you and showed up here suddenly. I... I forgot to disconnect the teleportation gate. You sure seem like the clumsy type. Ugh, stupid, stupid. I can't believe I led humans into this sacred garden. If that's the case, I have to protect Lady Kreia. By Kreia, could you mean the sleep this girl sleeping here? We don't have any intention of harming her or you, so you don't have to worry. It's true that you guys did save me once. Alright, it's scary, but I'll believe you for now. That's good to hear. By the way... I've got a lot of questions I want to ask you. Ask me? About this world, about Lost Heaven. Where is it relative to our world? What kind of place is it? Is Lost Heaven what people call it on the other side? This world is really named Terra. It's a beautiful place 
that consists of the island where this garden is and four continents. Terra. I think that's an old word for Earth. It is. A garden and four continents, huh? So is it a really located beyond the end of our world? I don't know about that. But humans like you don't exist here. Oh, come on. There's a human right here. I mean, right there. Kraya, was it? She looks like a human to me. She's not the same as you at all. Lady Kraya is the descendant of the ones who created this world, the people of Mythos. But something happened a long, long time ago, and she's fallen asleep. Created this world? You said she fell asleep. Has she been sleeping here all this time? That's kind of hard to believe. I take it you're the caretaker of this girl. Something like that. I'm the administrator who was put in charge of the garden when Lady Kraya went to sleep. You managed this place all by yourself? That's amazing. Then what about the big tower you just came out of? That's Heliograd. The most important? Wait, I... I don't have time to chat with you. <laughs> I have to get the master gear back. Look at the, <laughs> the way she holds her head. Like, that's the thing that uh, Zex, uh, Zext... I, I think that's how it's pronounced. Zext guy took from you, right? It seemed like some sort of machine. Is it that important? Important doesn't he begin to cut it. Because it was stolen, Terra's climate has been going crazy and monsters are everywhere. If I don't get it back from Zex quickly, this world is going to be all messed up. <clears throat> Lady Kraya, I'll be back. As the administrator of this garden, I must stop Zex. Zex. Damn, I'm, I'm going to fuck that up. <laughs> Please wait for me. Hey, hold on. Stop holding me up whenever I'm in a hurry. Just listen to us. Are you planning to retrieve the master gear or whatever all by yourself? He's still got that masked bastard with him. Don't you think you ought to have some protection along for the ride? I mean, sure, but... Are you saying you want to help me out? That's the plan. I've always wanted to solve the mysteries of this world with my own hands. And now, it's about to be ruined. I can't keep quiet. We already got involved back at the ruins. As handymen, uh, we can't just drop a job midway through. Okay then. But remember this. If you try to hurt Lady Kraya yourself, I mean or myself, then I'll use my own hands to beat you to a pulp. Oh, they're so scared now. I know she's trying to sound tough, but she's just too cute to hack it. It sure brightened up the mood though, didn't it? Why is the mood all cozy now? We're supposed to be tense. Isn't it better this way? Let me introduce myself properly. I'm Nayuta Herschel. Signa Alhazen? Alhazen? I'm pretty sure I'm butchering that too. Let's join forces and get the Master Gear back. Yes. For Terra and Lady Cradle. Alright. Looks like we gotta go. I'm guessing this place is gonna be the base of operations, kind of. Alright, Chapter 1, Gears in Motion. Lego. What is this, Noi? I mean, yeah, Noi. This is a warp device that connects the garden to the other continents. It seems that Zex went southwest from here to a continent called Altapia. If we use this, we can go after him in a single leap. I see. I guess it's pretty similar to the teleportation gate that got us here. I wonder how it works. If I can figure this out, I'll make getting... It'll make getting between St. Elise and Remnant Isle much, much easier. 
Come on, you can do that later. Listen here. I mean, listen, uh, there are four gear, Master Gears total, but all of them were taken by Zex. We have to get them back soon. I don't know what he's planning to do with them. Sorry, I just... Anyway, let's get going. On to that Altapia then. Right. You two, come to the center of the device. Ready? Here we go. To the land of verdant groves, Altapia. All right. <clears throat> hey, look at that. It kind of looks like uh, traveling through the spirit veins in cold steel. Ah, uh, so that's okay. So this is all terror. Second stage on the world map. Allow you to teleport to the location. All right, calm displays information about the stage you currently have selected. Use it to help clear the stage and pro progress. I'm, I almost fucked that up. Uh, let's see. Wait, so, okay, so uh, it looks like Noi helps you. Because you can get, change her equipment as well. Stage name, stage level. Okay. Select Altopia, the land of verdant groves. Ah, oh, they are all shrouded. Are we here? Hmm, that was quick. Hey, are you okay? I'm just a little surprised by how quickly you moved. It was like we were being blown around at high speed. You humans can't even handle the simplest warp. It seemed like Signa did fine. But you seem pretty okay, Signa. Why didn't you mention it? Maybe it's because of all the training I did in the, with the Vigilante Corp. I'm impressed. Hopefully I'll be able to get used to it too. So, this is the land of Verdant Groves, huh? It's a beautiful place with the cherry blossoms in full bloom. And there are plants we've uh, never seen before growing all over the place. It'd be nice to have a picnic with Eartha and Myra on a place like this. I mean, sure, it's beautiful, but I think this place is pretty eerie too. There should be lush, lush for, forest under the warm sun right now, but without the master gear, the climate's gone crazy. Abrupt weather events can destroy ecosystems. This definitely isn't a good situation. That's why we need to get the master gear back as soon as possible. Let's get going, guys. I'm sure Zex is up ahead. Yeah. There seems to be monsters too, so let's not get too crazy. She's joined a team and can now be controlled. Now he fights using magical arts. Using them to advance. Oh, okay. She can cast seasonal arts. Okay. Arts have a limited stock, which recovers when she isn't acting. In addition, a stock recovers more quickly when a user attacks an enemy. Oh, okay. All right. I kind of, I think, I kind of think I get how it works now. Um, a button to move to a new base. That's going to apply to you. Wait, we can do it from there? Fast travel?
Yeah, we gotta get you some gear, man. Alright. Let me save here. Okay. Let's go. Where the hell are they coming from? <laughs> it was just like they just floating down and shit. here first. Thousand year plum. Oh, I didn't even recognize that was a monster. We walked right past. Cursed armor. I like how that shit sounds. Okay, that's weird. Okay, done. Yeah, I gotta um watch out for those things. Little bastards. Okay. Damn, they got long reach. Yeah, watch out for these, uh... Whatever the hell these things are, they got a they got a hell of a reach. God damn it. Yeah, getting hit. It's weird that he's in the party, but like he can't attack or anything either. Uh, the one over there looks like another warp device. If we use that, we can go even further into the depths. I don't know where Zext is going with the Master Gear. Hmm. 
I don't think he's in the area anymore, so let's just keep pushing. Oh yeah, Nayuda, I got something for you. Okay, a source of training book. This is this is the sword a swordsman training book you used to use a lot, right? Where you record things that have helped you train. Yep. I've been using it uh, once uh, Master Orvis gave it to me a long time ago. But I think it's about time I gave it to you. Are you sure? Why so surprised? Your Master Orvis apprentice too. And your sword play is pretty good. I'm just about done with my training, so I'm sure you can put it to better use. When you filled it with your training marks, you should show it to Master Orvis. He'll give you advice. All right, I'll gladly take it and do just that. Good luck. Sorry to take up so much of your time, Noe. Let's get going. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, I don't even know what the hell y'all talking about, bro. Uh, so when you clear stage, your performance will be evaluated. So they found all large crystals and treasure chests. So that's what we need to do. Find okay. Provides bonus mirror. You will be marking a training book. They can be earned over successful successive attempts. Okay. For every six marks you accumulate, he'll teach you something new. Okay. All right. That makes sense. So. Kind of have an idea. Uh, I don't think there was anything else. Okay. Oh, okay. So we want to try to get a five star rating. <laughs> or oh, three stars, only one we can get. Yeah, this is very different from the uh, on the newer games. I come to Station at a special event, so it's a strong enemy here. Okay. Um, I'm trying to see. Oh, so it's only three stars. Okay. Okay. Definitely more simplistic. I think I'm starting to get uh, used to moving with the device. We came out uh, somewhere incredible again, too. It's like we're atop a giant tree beside the banks of the Great River. Boy, this monster trail won't be easy going. Aren't there any decent roads? Don't be ridiculous. Humans aren't supposed to be here in the first place. Uh, my bad. Don't worry about it. It's thanks to you that I can help like this. Anyway, watch your step. We'll have to be careful. And quick. We need to catch up to Zex, Dex dude as soon as possible. You're paying attention to your stamina as you go, right, Ayuda? If you get beaten up and find yourself in danger, just turn back. Don't be afraid to eat the lunch uh, Eartha made you if you're in real trouble either. It should help you regain your strength. You're right. I'll eat it gratefully. And she even taught me how to make it so that if I gather the ingredients, I can prep it myself. Now it's really starting to look like an adventure. I mean, in a place like this, it was only a matter of time. I get the sense there's going to be a lot of monsters waiting for us. It sure ain't like back at home. Are you saying that there aren't monsters in your world? Well, no, they exist, but not in these numbers. I've never seen some of the uh, some of these species. It's like a museum of monsters. Maybe I ought to keep a record. A record? I actually brought my notebook with me. If I record all the monsters we encounter, I'll be able to examine them later. 
might be handy, but I'll leave this stuff to you. You humans are bizarre. Now let's get going. We can't afford to lose Zest. Right. Then let the adventure begin. Alright. So... Let me see something here. Uh... Oh, okay, there we go. That was how you look at the quest. Okay, so then let me have any. Uh so cooking. So we gotta go we gotta head back to her. Okay, so we can't come back home. It seems we made it back safely. Yeah, what a relief, right? It sounds like as long as it's connected, it's safe to go back and forth. Signa, it's amazing. Can you believe it? We actually went to the hidden paradise, Lost Heaven. I don't know that, but there's a whole world over there. Calm down, I know. Sorry, I just had to share my excitement with someone. This is between us, right? I don't think anyone would believe it if we told them. And no, uh, Noe seems to be keeping it on, on the down low, so we should do the same. Yeah. Noe didn't come with us. I wonder if she doesn't want to visit this world after all. I think she's just afraid of humans in general. But this is no time to be sitting around chatting. Bertha will be coming home soon, so we need to make sure we got our story straight. Right. And we're going to be home a lot from now on, too. What should I tell Eartha? I'll have to talk to her, too, so that she won't get suspicious. Oh, and Nayuda? What do you reckon we should do about the handyman business? If you want to explore Terra, you could take a break from it. I suppose, but it seems like a bit of a waste since we've uh, just presumed it. Can we do both? It might be a little greedy of us, but why not? Okay then, I'm gonna go check on things back home and tackle some of the quest requests we got. I'll head to Terra with you, so don't worry. Sure. I'll also check to see if we got any new requests. You can leave it all to me. Thanks, I owe you one. Alright, looks like we do have requests, so... Play with me, there's a prize. So come to my house, okay. <laughs> I want to give a gift to my generous wife. I'll be taking, I'll be taking care of my cow. I didn't see this guy the last time, um, so let me know if you he help me out. Yeah, but I there is must be an area I missed going to. I see. So the two of you are off exploring again. Well, how should I put this? It's something like that. Of course, we haven't shirked our duties as handyman. You two haven't changed at all. You've always been off exploring ruins without telling anyone in the village. And one time it was so dangerous, Mr. Orbus had to come save you. I remember his scary face when he took when he had to scold you. Come on, Eartha. You're not that young anymore. Looks like she's buying Signa's story for now. I can't tell about the other world, but it's not like we aren't exploring. Asking for lunch shouldn't be suspicious. All right. Oh, come on, man. Shall I make a lunchbox? Okay. Yeah. So, okay, you come to her, and she just makes um. Oh, you can't have any more lunchboxes. Well, that shit sucks. That really sucks. So you can only get 
You can only make one lunch per time. Okay. That sucks. Um... Yeah, I have to find this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. I think I did a pretty good job. What's that? Looks like you're making a tiny dress. It's an important ornament doll. I've always loved dolls, so I like to make of these in my spare time. Nobody else on the island really shares my interests, so they don't sell at all. If you look closely, they are really uh, rare made. Uh, maybe I can buy these from Noe to wear. Wait, now Yuta, are you interested in playing with dolls? Oh, it's for her armor and stuff. You don't have to be shy. It's nice to find a like-minded friend. Boys are more than welcome. Please take your time. <laughs> I hope no weird rumors start going around. <laughs> okay. Um, it's an accessory. It reduces fall damage. Hmm. I feel like I should get this. Let me see something. You wonder what's going out there for. I'll come back. Um, who is this? Now where did that huge ruin land? I can't believe it fell uh in the short time I was away. Wrong place, wrong time, I guess. Okay, I don't know who that guy is. What was that? uh Al has in? Is said to be the best swordsman in the Sea of Cientia. I was shocked when I first, he first came here. I guess Master Orvis is quite famous. I think I heard something similar to the same uh, Elise too. It's such a waste he's already retired. I'd have been more than happy to forge him a sword or two. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, that short blade goes up by 20. Two-handed weapon. Two-handed weapons are a little more slow. I kind of like the one hand. I'm trying to find I don't know I'm trying to see where this other guy lives I know where the bell girl lives huh we need to collect display pieces that's where I come in. I'll use my proclivity for negotiation. Didn't that place say museum? No way. I'll go there in a sec. Seems like that's going to be a bit of a story event. Oh, you. 
Aquila. <laughs> you have such striking eyes. And this star cycle shows one who carries a great fate. Uh, as an astro astrologist, I can't help but find it interesting. Here, young man, keep this. Okay, that was random. Think of it as a to little token of appreciation for showing me such an interesting reading. You can see images you obtain. Okay, yeah, that's right. Where the hell is this big guy? I don't know if you've heard, there's a group of people claiming to be scholars on the island. I've been seeing them for a while, uh, for a few months at least. Very strange bunch. They said they're preparing for something, but I have no idea what the hell it could be. Oh, there's a Mishi. Here it is again. I don't I know what happens uh, when you see them. I'm actually hiding all sorts of treasure here. Daddy sometimes reels in, uh, reels in some with this with this fish. I'm sure you're jealous. All right. <laughs> oh, Nayuda. Are you here about my letter? Yep. You said you wanted to play a game together. It's not exactly what handed me in a four, of course. What? It's fine. What's the game you want to play? So, um, actually, I hid some treasure in a secret place on the island. Oh, God. <laughs> Not looking forward to that shit at all. You have to find, uh, find it based on clues I give you, okay? Sounds fun, right? I see. A treasure hunt. It does sound fun. Then let's play. Sure, let's do it. If only Sydney was here, too. But I guess just know you do is fine for the day. Bell is so attached to Signa. Okay then, I'll give you a hint to where the treasure is hidden. Um, from the second floor, go to where everybody can see everybody. Go to where you can see everybody's head. That's it. Yep. This could be harder than I expected. A place I can access from the second floor. Okay, I'll start with houses that actually have a second floor. Good luck then. I'll be waiting for you here, so I'll come back when you find a treasure. Alright, I'll do my best. I think I know where this is. So let's, um... I feel like I'm missing somewhere. I don't, I don't know. Let me go over here really quick. There's the dog. Who the hell is this guy? Look at this, Noyuda. Oh yeah, booty. <laughs> Show, he showed him pieces of shattered star fragments in his hand. So many star fragments. Did you find these around here? Yep, sure did. When the ruins fall, these wash up all over the place. Well, I already picked up the bigger ones, so I don't think you'll find any this time. Shoot. Wow, that... Hold on one second. That was weird. I had so much going on, I forgot to collect any. It's my loss. Oh, I thought... <laughs> I thought you'd be more disappointed. <laughs> the fuck is wrong with this dude? <laughs> that was weird as hell. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't know where that this big guy is. I gotta get a kennel for the dog. I know that. I seriously don't know where this guy is. I mean, does he get some type of hint where he is? I have no idea where this guy is. Oh, but for her quest, I think it's up there on the second floor in here. Yeah, right there. There it is. Hmm? Is this a poster? From the second floor, go to where you see everybody's head. I see. So the place Bell was talking about was the general store's upper terrace. Let's see. 
I've already taken the treasure. If you want it, look through the peephole to the sky. Okay, we know this is a telescope. I guess solving just one mystery isn't enough to find a treasure. It's like a real treasure hunt. I'm starting to get excited. The hint was the peephole to the sky. If there's any place like that, it would be. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get this, uh, no, from her. Welcome. This thing on cuisine. For your okay. I guess you just have it in the party. Alright, we look at the floral bounty. Hmm. I guess there's a monster supposed to be there or something? Guess we'll see eventually. People to the sky. I wonder if she means my telescope. Poster said to peek into it. So I peeked in, it's pitch black. Maybe the tip is covered. A piece of paper is stuck to the end of the telescope. When did she... Anyway, let's give it a read. I will not give you the treasure yet. If you want it, look for the knight's back. The hell? The knight's back. Is it supposed to be the knight's back? The only knight I can think of in the village is... Um, is he talking about, uh, Orvis? Was he a knight? I'm not even sure. I am so, like, lost right now on where this other guy is. I'm gonna have to figure it out. Let's see something. Ah, there it is. Okay, I was like, where the hell is this dude at? Okay, so make a turn right here. Okay. Okay, so this is him and his wife. Man. Booty's out playing in all the, in those ruins. He said he's collecting star fragments. He never gets tired of it, does he? But who uh, wouldn't want to collect the beautiful stones, right? Yeah, I completely missed them down here. We got a small field at the back of the island, but the weather has been real weird lately. With the strange heat and continuous rain, our vegetables just aren't growing well. Rumor has that the weather has not uh, just been strange on Remnant Isle. People from all over are saying it's a weird year and everybody's troubled. Just what am I supposed to do, Jessica? Uncle Scope's talking to Jessica again. Hey there, Nayuda. What can I do for you? Oh, wait. Did you come by my request? That's right. I think you're trying to find the right gift on Kenny. Yes, sir, I am. Do you think you got time to give me a helping hand? All right, sure. Can you tell me a bit about what you need? You've really been struggling. Did you hear that, Jessica? No, you're just going to help out. <laughs> so what do you need? Oh, right. I've got a little too excited. Actually, I need help picking a gift for a wedding anniversary. Is it coming up? No, the thing is, I totally forgot about it. Oh, wow. By the time I remembered, it was long gone. Okay. That's a pretty big oversight. Yeah, fortunately, Kenny seems to have forgot too. <laughs> Since she didn't notice. Still, it's our wedding anniversary, so I want to do something about it. I want to make you something special. That's not good, both of y'all, for getting your wedding anniversary. Not a good sign, bro. <laughs> That's why you need help picking out a present. Yeah, rather than something uh, country fools like me will find. I think it'd be better if a young city slicker chose something real nice. I don't think I'm that different from you, but I'll do my best to find something. Thank you kindly. If you could pay for it, I mean, I, if you could pay for it for now, I will reimburse you later. No problem. 
That being said, nothing really comes to mind right now. I should talk to Sasha at the general store. Okay. And we will do that uh, in a sec. Let me go down here. Well, let me go ahead and end here. When we come back, I'll be trying to finish up the rest of these quests and everything. So, yeah. But thank you for rocking with me. I appreciate everybody checking out the vids, as always. If you're new to the channel, tap this like button on the thing. Tap it. Just tap it, tap it, tap. <laughs> and subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.